extravagant love for Jesus. Inviting you to spend your five minutes in listening, meditating, and praying on the Word of God as you begin your day. Blessing and peace to you and all your family members. May the Lord Jesus bless you with love and peace. April 3rd, 2023, Monday of Holy Week. Prepare your mind and heart as you listen to the Gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh my God and King, I beg you to grant me the grace, during this time of meditation, that all my intentions, actions, and operations may be directed purely to the praise and service of your Divine Majesty. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 12, verses 1 to 11. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. There they made him a supper. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at table with him. Mary took a pound of costly ointment of pure nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair and the house was filled with the fragrance of the ointment. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, he who was to betray him, said, Why was this ointment not sold for three hundred denarii and given to the poor? This he said, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief. And as he had the money box, he used to take what was put into it. Jesus said, Let her alone. Let her keep it for the day of my burial. The poor you always have with you, but you do not always have me. When the great crowd of the Jews learned that he was there, they came, not only on account of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. So the chief priests planned to put Lazarus also to death, because on account of him, many of the Jews were going away and believing in Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us pray and meditate on this Gospel passage. Do you know the love that knows no bounds? As Jesus dines with his beloved friends, Mary does something which only love can do. She took the most precious thing she had and spent it all on Jesus. Her love was not calculated but extravagant. Mary's action was motivated by one thing, and one thing only, namely, her love for Jesus and her gratitude for God's mercy. She did something, however, a Jewish woman would never do in public. She loosed her hair and anointed Jesus with her tears. How do you anoint the Lord's feet and show him your love and gratitude? The cost to the giver shows the true beauty and goodness of a heart filled with love and gratitude. Why was Judas critical of Mary's lovely deed? Judas viewed her act as extravagant, wastefulness because of greed. A person views thing according to what it inside the heart and soul. Judas was an embittered man and had a warped sense of what was precious and valuable, especially to God. Do you examine your heart correctly? when you impute wrong or unworthy motives towards others? Let us pause to pray silently and ask the Lord Jesus to bless you with all the graces you need for today.
prayer. Give us, Lord, a lively faith, a firm hope, a fervent charity, a love of you. Take from us all lukewarmness in meditation, dullness in prayer. Give us fervor and delight in thinking of you and your grace, your tender compassion towards me, the things we pray for. Good Lord, give us grace to labor for, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.